Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have another unboxing of the Wizarding Trunks bi-monthly subscription box. This one is for the month of April, and this month's theme is Magical Creatures. Now, usually their boxes are pretty similar and have some decorations about the theme on the outside, but this month they went all out and decorated the entire box all around with a ton of different magical creatures like here where it says fragile magical delivery you have a troll a sphinx you have a phoenix right here here on this side you have the ghouls a kraken familiars a gnome a bogart a thunderbird and it just has so much stuff all over the place. It's like the centaurs and you have a white stag, the arachne. So the box itself is so beautiful, so well themed. So I'm so excited to see what is in here. I have no idea what to even expect. Now, I really do love all magical creatures. I think my favorite magical creatures of them all is definitely the Thestrals. So I'm hoping there's something Thestral themed in here, but let's see what we have. And I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek before I look at anything and then I'm going to put it down and I'm going to try to just grab things without looking down at the box because I don't want to spoil the surprise so I'm just gonna feel it out and see what I want to grab first so here we have the first item and these are coloring pencils and it says these are the pixie color pencils magical creatures in color and on the back it says phoenix firebird red pesky pixie blue Puff Pygmy Pink, Zoe Main Orange, Grindelow Green, Fairy Lights Blue, Mer, Mer Person Purple, Common Welsh Green, Fluffy Puppy Brown, Dark Forest Black, Mountain Troll Brown, and Th Thunderbird Yellow. And this is what it looks like on the back. And this is what it looks like on the front. So let's go ahead and open these and see what they look like. Now I do love when they add stuff in their boxes that you can use and I don't mind color pencils at all because I actually like to draw and coloring is actually a great way to de-stress so that is awesome. And if you have like one of these like adult Harry Potter coloring books, these can come very much in handy. So here are the pencils themselves. Let me see if I can show you guys. So there they are. You know, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. They're like your standard colored pencils. But again, super nice. Love that you can use this and enjoy it. You know, not just something to put on a shelf. So that is item number one. Let's see here. Okay, so there is this paper, like toilet paper roll um, <laughs> thing inside and it has some, I guess, artwork or a book cover, probably a book cover. I've never received any of their book covers because I think this is only the second time that I have gotten the bi-monthly box and I don't think they were doing covers when... I got my first one, but let's see what this one is. Oh, and this is so nice. I don't, no, no, I don't think this is a cover. This is actually a map. Let me show you guys. And it has a ton of gold foiling and it says map of monsters. And then it says Mappa Monstrum. And it's like a map of the world. And I guess it shows you each part of the world where the magical creatures would be located based off of the different parts of the world. This is so nice. I really love this. I think it's going to look beautiful 
in a frame. I don't tend to frame everything that I get. Um, there has there have been a few pieces that they have sent out that I've really loved and I do want to get them framed and put on like type of like a mural wall here over my desk to my my left. <laughs> um, so this is going to look so nice in a frame and it has a compass and some centaurs on the top and a hippogriff on the bottom. So this one is very nice. It's going to look beautiful in a frame. Um, let's see. I got a little glimpse of this while I was looking down. So let me just go ahead and pull this one up. And this is, oh, um, oh my God, what are these called? Is it a pygmy puff? It's not a pygmy puff. A puff skin. This one is a puff skin, I think. Okay, it says here, hi. I'm your new handcrafted magical creature, but I may need a bit more time to ensure that I was able to make the trip to my new home. My maker sent me to the wizarding trunk a little early and my dye may not be fully dried. Just take me out of my bag and pop me on your shelf. And if I'm not completely dry, I'll dry right out in about a week. So they put that little message here so that we would know oh this is so cute it reminds me of the game of hogwarts legacy oh look at how adorable he is okay let me block my face so you can see him now i don't i don't recall seeing puff skins in the movies but i know for sure that they are in the hogwarts legacy book so this is so cute he is a little bit you know fuzzed up here because of the packaging but i think as he settles outside of his packaging and mine is not super wet but you can feel that glue is still a little bit tacky like the glue that they use to glue his hair back is still a little bit tacky but that's fine i will set him out on my shelves and he can sit and dry there but he is so cute and adorable i love him let's see what else we got so here we have another box and this one has okay so i was looking at the box at the back at the back we have like some sort of ruins and then on the front it says magical creatures a pocket guide so a pocket guide to magical creatures this reminds me of the movie fantastic beast and the little pocket book that newt scamander carries around so let's take a look at this one i'm setting like the packaging on the side because i have uh oh okay oh this is really nice i like this it's like a type of card like a card wallet that you can put like your credit cards and some of your bill like you know money and bills and credit cards this is awesome uh not so long ago i don't know if it was in one of their quarterly boxes or their bi-monthly boxes they sent out a passport holder and I've been using that one every time we travel it's super nice to carry my passport in and this is going to be a great addition to anyone who travels and oftentimes like you do take a whole bunch of documents and stuff with you but like if you want to just carry around a few things and don't want to have to take out like your big like in my case like my big wallet and have everything out i can just put like my id and my credit card and anything that i will need like at hand like easy reach when i'm traveling so this is awesome i really love that i was definitely not expecting it i thought it was going to be like a book or something but again i'm super happy that it's something that is useful and i can actually get like some use out of it so let's set that to the side and then we have a large box another box four one two three four boxes so let's go ahead and get this one this is just your regular cardboard box no theming on the outside so let's see what is in here 
I think it's some type of potion or potion ingredient. And uh, let's see what we have. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. It says here, this is the Song of Sirens or Song Song of the Siren. So that is awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. For a while now, let's see. It has like the wax seal in blue. It has a little mermaid charm. Let me get it closer. Sorry, I just hit the microphone closer. It has that and like a little gem here. And then on the inside, it has the luster dust. And it has like some rocks, like some sea rocks and then some algae in there and then the liquid itself has a little bit of an iridescence so i love this for a while now they were doing oh and the little gem is actually like scales so for a while now they were doing like these build your own potion kits and some people really liked them because it was kind of like this interactive thing that you would do with your box. I personally was not a fan of them. I mean, I figured if I want to make my own potions, I can always get supplies from around and do them on my own. But I prefer them to send out their potions already made and I don't have to do them because they just do such a better job at it than we would. Like I know for me, for the last one that we got where we had to make our own, it was such a struggle to do the wax and they just know what they're doing. So I really appreciate that they sent this one already made and it's going to look so nice on my potion shelf. So the next thing, let's see. Let's do this box. So this one here has an egg and some eyes and it has like a beak. So I'm thinking this is some type of bird creature. I don't know if I can, is this a hippogriff? Could this be a hippogriff? Let's see. I Like when I think bird, the first thing that comes to mind in Harry Potter is the hippogriff. Um, let's see what this can be. It has some of their little foam. So this is what we got in the box. So it's very well protected and it's really in there. So it's like an egg. Let me put the packaging over to that side. Okay, so we have an egg and I almost dropped my egg. So it's like a metal egg. Here is one part of the egg. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, I'm not sure what creature this is supposed to reference. It is a silver egg and there's no label on the bottom. And then the top part is removable. It is made of ceramic. And then on the inside, it is a purple candle. It does have like a fruity type of scent to it, which is nice. But again, I'm not sure exactly what creature this is meant to rep like resemble or represent. So I guess when we read the cheat sheet at the end, we will figure that one out. But it's nice. You know, it's again, another usable item, which I appreciate. Okay, so let's see, I have two more boxes left and a small packaging here. Now this one is their pin and this one is a portrait pin of their version of Newt Scamander, which is completely fitting for the theme of this box. So let's get him out of here. It is a double class pin and I will go ahead and be putting this one on my pin board and there you go so you can get another look at it okay so very very nice I like it I will be putting that one on my pin board and then let me see we have a couple boxes we have something else under here that's like in a packaging but let me take out these boxes first okay so here we have this box and this one is kind of creepy. I mean, they kind of look like Dementors, but I don't know 
let's get this out of here so this is some type of little statue it's like a statue oh i'm so sorry about the noise okay so it's one of their statues and it is a statue of i don't think it's a dementor it looks kind of like a statue of death i would say i think we'll have to read on this one to see exactly what this is also representing I will say, eh, I don't love this one. I think there were, probably were so many other creatures that could have been represented in this box. So this to me doesn't scream out like magical creature unless I'm missing something like completely out there. But for me, I would say so far, this is probably my least favorite item. I don't know that I would even display this on my shelves because to me, it just doesn't say magical creature. It doesn't say magic. It doesn't say Harry Potter. It's just like, I don't know. It looks like kind of like a Halloween decor. So this one is definitely a want want for me. I don't really like this one. And then we have here what seems to be a wand. So this is Ezekiel's quality wands. Now this is super exciting. I love collecting wands. And I have actually been meaning to add wands to my collection that aren't necessarily Harry Potter um, themed. So this is really nice. And the box is actually really nice quality. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek first before I get into it. And let's see here. Oh, so this is really, really nice. It's kind of like an eagle on the top it looks like an eagle to me i don't know if it's probably a hippogriff but it looks like an eagle slash hippogriff and then it's made to look like it's made of dark wood it is i don't know if this is plastic or resin i think it's plastic but if it is plastic it's a pretty nice quality plastic so it does feel very nice so we shall read about this one and see what this creature is and what it represents. The box is really, really nice though. Like it even has a magnetic closure. They went all out on the box on this one. So let's put that to the side. And what else do we have here? We have some paper products. We also have this in here. This is, this seems to be theme to the hog head now i don't remember if i know they're doing like this tea set collection with the hog head theming and i don't know if it is in the bi-monthly box or the quarterly box but either way this is says the copper kettle and it has the kettle right there i think this is the one where they're doing the collection of all the pieces for the set I know I have the spoons. I know they've sent out like a cream or milk pitcher, like a small little cream pitcher. And I think they've also sent out one other thing. I can't remember what it was, but this here says the copper kettle established in 1916. And then it has hog heads and a hog head here in the back. And this seems to me to be maybe like a tea towel like a tea towel to go along with the tea set again i can't remember what other items they've sent from this collection i don't have them all i just have the spoons so i mean i guess this is pretty cool if you've been collecting the set now you can have a tea towel to go along with it so let's put that to the side and then let's see here. I think all we have left are paper products. Nope. We have one more thing here. This is a patch. This seems like one of those iron on patches and it's cute. I don't know what animal this is. It looks like an owl, but at the same time, kind of looks like something else. So I guess we'll read about that one as well. And then here we have, what are these meant to be? These are some type of cards. Let's see what these are. Are these stickers? Okay, I think these are stickers. 
yeah, I think for sure these are stickers. So this one is of a basilisk, the draconis, we have a dragon. There you go, that's that one. And then we have a kelpie, which is some type of water horse. This one's really, really nice. And then we have a, a unicorn. And we have a phoenix. Oh, this one's beautiful. I love this one. Probably my favorite out of all of them. And then here in the box, what we have left are our paper products. So let's go ahead and I will put the sheet there and we'll look at that one in a little bit. This first one says Potion Ingredients Song of Sirens. And here we have what that looks like. And it says here, one of the most enchanting and sought after ingredients in the world of potion making. It is exclusive. It is the exclusive song of sirens. This is a magical substance. This magical substance is a key component in many love and enchantments. Love potions and enchantments. So I won't read the whole thing because that would be a lot, but I will go ahead and put it here. And if you guys want to pause the video, you can pause it and read it for yourselves. And then on the back it says, caution may cause unintended enchantments, handle with extreme care, improper use, can lead to dangerous obsession or unintended enchantments. And here is the back side in case you want to read it. You can go ahead and pause the video and read it on your own time. And then we have the Magical Creatures A to Z. Now, I thought they had already finished with these Magical Creature pages. I may have been wrong. I feel like I got one in another one of their boxes and we were past the letter I, but again, I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. So here we have, oh, this is so cute. He is an imp. Again, I'll leave it on the screen in case you guys want to pause it and read. And then on the back of this page, we have the Infernia. And it seems to be some type of lizard creature. I think these are really nice if you frame them in a way where they all like make sense together. I'm thinking of doing like a like a feature wall in my room, but I have to figure that out. And then we have another one here where we have the ogre. On this side we have the orthrus, I guess you pronounce it. And it is like a two-headed dog, lion type of thing. And then we have here, magical creature adoption. This is to certify that I, and then, let me show you guys first before I read it. This is like a certificate of ownership. It says magical creature adoption. This is to certify that I, and then you can put your name on it, have officially adopted, and then you can give your um, puff skin a name. I promise to love and care for this fantastic creature from the familiar foundry. So this is super cute. It goes along with your little puff skin. So I think what I'm going to do is I might fill this out and then I will display him alongside his little certificate of ownership. And then, ooh, this is scary. This says M, dangerous creature, ministry records. If sighted, do not approach. That's what it says here on the back. And then on the front, he does look scary. Oh my God, look at him. Tell me that he doesn't look scary. Ooh, I don't know, I don't like him. I don't know why he makes me so scared, but he does look very, very scary. I think it's because it looks kind of like human-like, and it says this is a manticore, Greek beast with the head of a man, the body of a lion, and the tail of a scorpion. Oh, this is awesome. I love this one. This is so unique. I love it. I love it. I, I'm going to show this to my son. I think he would really, really like this. 
he's into all this kinds of things like manticores and stuff like that so i think he'll like to see this one but wow they did such a good job on this illustration it is actually terrifying so that is everything that was in the box now here is the cheat sheet so let's go ahead and go through this i won't read all the descriptions but there are some things that i'm kind of curious to see what they were thinking of when they were creating this box i'm a little bit disappointed there was nothing in reference to the thestrals but that's okay i guess it'll be for a next box so number one it says map of monsters this map shows you the known locations of many of the magical creatures around the world be sure to take it with you on your travels to know what creatures you are likely to encounter number two dark creature statue this creature resembles three creatures that are known to wizard kind you will receive 10 points for each you can name if you are having trouble fig figuring out at least one of them is in your magical creatures a to z binder what well i, I guess they mean if you've been collecting all the sheets because mine just has an ogre an orthrus an imp and an infernia and i know for sure it wasn't representing any of those so i guess i will just never know what exactly the statue thing is representing then it has here uh, number three pocket guide to magical creatures this book wallet is a perfect size to tuck into your pocket or pocketbook for easy access when needing to consult in regarding to any magical creatures you may encounter on your travels. Number four is the solid silver egg keepsake jar candle. 20 points to the student that can name the bird-like creature that emerge from this silver ceramic egg. This candle is scented with sweet orange and blueberry. This ceramic dish is dishwasher safe. So... I don't know guys you're gonna have to help me out here i have no idea what creature emerged from a silver egg is is that in the harry potter movies or in the fantastic beast movies i don't know if you guys know comment down below and let me know because i am confused about the statue and about the egg number five song of the sirens this potion ingredient is essential for most love potions be sure to consult your ingredients page for detailed information on this ingredient and how it is collected number six song of siren page before tucking this ingredient page inside your copy of the potion master's guidebook be sure to read and learn all about the Song of the Sirens. Number seven, Magical Creature Sticker Set. These vinyl stickers depict some of the most powerful and dangerous magical creatures to be discovered. Number eight, Handcrafted Magical Creature. These fluffy handcrafted and hand-dyed creatures from the familiar foundry will make an excellent addition. Instead of saying addition, it says addition to your magical creature shelf. Keep an eye out as we may offer some different colored variations of these adorable creatures in the future. Don't forget to fill in your adoption certificate. Number nine, portrait pin. This creature loving portrait will make an excellent last addition to your for your portrait pin collection. This will be the last of our portrait pin series for the time being at least, but you may see them back again in the future manticore infogram this infogram teaches all about the manticore of one of the most formidable magic creatures labeled untrainable and illegal to own by the ministry number 11 hippogriff wand okay so it is a hippogriff on the wand this one measures 12 inches was created for a friend on june 6th in 1994 carved of oak and very rigid wands Number 12, Copper Kettle Tea Towel. The winged boar, Chris Sauer adorns, adorns the logo of the Copper Kettle Inn. The winged boars signify warriors, festivity, and feasting, making it perfect to represent the inn. Number 13, Iron On Patch. This Iron On Patch will make a great, again, they spelled addition, <laughs> to your magical creature case or backpack. Number 14, Magical Creations Colored Pencils. 
Pixie Co. presents magical creatures colored creatures in color. These colored pencils are essential in class when sketching, coloring, and labeling the magical creatures you observe. 15 and 16 are creature pages you have now collected O and I. We are nearing the end of our magical creature pages with just two pages left. These last two pages will only be available to those that re receive the boxes they come in and will likely not be sold separately. And then it says the next bi-monthly theme is the castle. So I usually don't have the subscription running like every single like every other month because you know I can't afford to have like every other month but anytime I see a theme that I enjoy I do sign up and I might just go ahead and do the castle one because that is going to be very very interesting and then we have which I think is super nice that they do this um every bi month they have their editors pick editor's choice and this one is McDorks from his YouTube channel. Now, I have seen McDorks. I'm actually subscribed to his channel and he is awesome. So you should just check him out. Now, I will say personally, if I have to choose, I'm going to say my least favorite item. And I think you guys will already know which one that is, would be the statue thingy. One, because I have no idea what it represents. I still don't know what it represents even after reading the page. And I don't know, it just, to me, it doesn't say magical creature. I think like they could have done something different to take the place of that item. And probably my favorite thing in this box would be, hmm, it's definitely between, I would have to say it's between the potion because I think this is super cute. I mean, so on theme, I love it. The wand is also one of the most, uh, like for me, one of the most cute things in this box. I really do like the wand, but that may just be because I like wands in general. And finally, I think out of my favorites, it would also have to be this uh the artwork of the map i think it's gonna look beautiful in a frame so yeah i think those are probably my top three although i also really did like the little booklet where you can put your like ids and credit cards and stuff like that so um definitely there were more things in the box that i liked than those that i didn't like um but let me know down below what you guys think which one of these items was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? Um, have you subscribed to this box or are you going to be subscribing to their next box, which is the castle themed? I will definitely probably look into it. Although I am a little scared that it will probably arrive during a time where I'm going to be on vacation and I won't be here to receive it. But I guess I'll figure it out if I do end up uh, signing up for it. But yeah, overall, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you are still here at the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, we are so close to hitting 1,000 subscribers on this channel. And I'm so excited. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one.